So, Happy Scrapper here. Just going through my mental checklist. Uh, I'm going to do an experiment. And I uh, figured I'd take you along with me. I don't know uh, how many of you are cherry picking, finding new ways to de depopulate motherboards, cell phone boards, circuit boards in general. I know myself, when you're faced with like 150 pounds of circuit boards to depopulate and sort, <sighs> right? <laughs> so uh, I myself have been searching for new ways to do this as well. This is not a new way, so to speak. People have taken propane torches to the backs of circuit boards for probably a long time. Uh, the difference here is my torch is slightly bigger. I don't know if this is going to work. I do know that this is not safe. Okay? You got me this bad boy. Right here. I'll be wearing this the whole time. And it would be really silly not to wear a mask when heating up circuit boards. Uh, if you don't know already, there are dangerous chemicals within those circuit boards and you don't want to be inhaling those fumes. I'm telling you, don't risk your life for gold, okay? Throughout my channel, I'm going to be enforcing safety message after safety message because in my opinion and in many others' opinion and kind of a scientific fact, <laughs> uh, this stuff is not something you should play around with. Knowledge is power, and in this case, knowledge is the continuance of your life. So don't risk your life. Always be safe first. Safety is first and foremost. I got a hose right here because I'm dealing with fire. You never know. I might just have to hose everything down. If I gotta get my camera too, sorry guys. <laughs> Safety, be safe. We'll also be wearing gloves and staying very far away from the flame as best as I can. My propane tank will be away from the torch. The torch is strapped in to a workhorse here. I got a little piece of computer aluminum or steel, whatever you want to call it, probably steel, just to like prevent the wood from burning if I can, <laughs> that's also an experiment. I like experimenting. So I'm gonna experiment with this, see how it goes, and uh, share it with you. So let me give you a rundown real quick. All right, so here's the setup. Got our propane tank. I have not hooked up yet. That'll hook up. So, flow regulator tied with a telephone cord to the workhorse with my little heat shield here. I have no idea if it'll work. And a uh, torch head. So, essentially, with my gloves on and mask, I will vice grip to a board. Blast it with a bit of heat. Bring it over here to my microwave. And with the mallet, give it a little tap. Hopefully, the boards are gonna, the board components are going to fall off into my emptied out microwave. And after the board is clean, I'll simply drop and grab the next one. Let's see if it works.
So, there you have it. Not a good idea. Don't try this. This is very destructive to the parts, first of all. Everything was melting, everything plastic. Uh, second of all, as you can tell, there are explosive components. That's what just happened. I just had a uh, capacitor of some kind explode, essentially. Nothing touched me, I'm fine. Uh, you know, but it's kind of what happens when you experiment. Now, I really don't think that this is a good idea whatsoever. And I mean, you don't know till you try. And hopefully, if you were to have this idea, you'll see this video first before you try it. This is not safe. This is not a good idea. Not efficient. Just burns the crap out of the boards and the components. I mean, they come off. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, I had parts falling off onto the ground. You know? And, uh... I'm not going to touch it right now, but I mean, it's charred. So that would make sorting and, you know, uh, whatnot very difficult. Not a good idea. Probably best simply to cherry pick your boards for the components that you want and that you're able to process or that you're collecting for, say, a toll refiner to process for you. Um, safety first, guys definitely safety first this not safe not a good idea and uh, this has been a message from your happy scrapper And there's the exploded capacitor. Check that out. It's one of these. See this silver one here with the little black? Yeah. I knew they were there and I knew they were explosive. But I think it's important to show you guys. Everything we do in electronics recovery and refining is dangerous. Research is absolutely necessary. I mean... <laughs> Roofing torch, no go. I wouldn't even recommend a propane torch. I mean... Just not safe. It's not productive. It's not good in probably any aspect. So, not recommended. Please be safe, guys. Thanks for watching the Happy, Happy Scrapper channel. Uh, lots more interesting and uh, informative videos are going to be coming in the near future. So, that being said, Please subscribe and uh, make sure you turn on notifications. There'll be new videos very frequently and they will be increasing as time goes. Alright, guys, thank you for tuning in to the Happy Scrapper channel. Good luck and be safe. And uh, don't do the roofing torch. Roofing torch. No good. Hi guys, I really really appreciate you tuning in, subscribing and following everything that I do. There's some serious, serious points that I really want to point out. I'm stepping out of being happy right now, I'm being absolutely dead serious, okay? You can see a lot of videos on YouTube and they show you a lot of pros, a lot of... Blah, blah, blah. Serious! You, they, you can find yourself a lot of videos on a lot of different processes that are quite dangerous. Now, when you watch the YouTube video, it kind of seems like, you know, it's not that bad. 
It can't be that bad. I mean, the guy's been doing videos for how long? And, you know, it seems he's doing well. However, you only see what is put forth on the camera. You don't see mistakes, accidents, explosions, spills. They won't put that forth because they don't want to look bad. This is going to be the difference with my channel to other channels. I plan to not only do, you know, good videos, entertaining, happy, funny, but I'm going to set you aside every now and again and just kind of show you. This stuff is incredibly dangerous and at any time and in a split second, it can change your life. Life-changing events happen with this hobby. So, safety is absolutely important and I, I cannot stress that enough. If you follow my channel, I hope and I really, really, really hope that you heed these warnings that not just myself but others have also said as well. Yes, you can get gold, but you can kill yourself in the process and not just yourself but your neighbors, your neighbor's dog. You can erode and corrode metals around your, your household. That rhymes. <laughs> I'm going to make that a wrap. <laughs> No, seriously, guys, guys, safety first, it has to be, okay? You're dealing with acids, dangerous fumes, explosive components, fire, heat. It's, there's so many things that are dangerous that we deal with. It's, it's uncanny. It really is, okay? So please just don't open up a YouTube video, see it one time and say, I'm going to try that. Research, do lots of research. Look through many different sources, ask questions to other people, figure out every step of the way from beginning to waste disposal afterwards. The whole process, safety equipment, what's going to happen, what could happen, what you should do and what you shouldn't do, what chemical reactions are happening, what fumes are being produced, uh, what wastes are you going to have? How are you going to neutralize those and dispose of those? Uh, are you able to reuse them? Are you able to not reuse them? Is there a certain order of things? And if you do it out of order, is it going to... There's so many things, guys. Let's be safe. Let's be smart. And let's be productive because we are safe and smart. Alright? So anyways, that's that. Just wanted to have a little sit down with you guys on my milk crate because I love milk crates. They're useful for everything. And I think as scrappers, we should all have at least two milk crates. Okay? That's also the other serious note. Gotta have milk crates. If you don't have milk crates, you're not a scrapper. <laughs> all right, let's go.